Hey guys, um, so today uh, we are doing lesson 3.1, which is inequalities in their graphs. Um, I'm just going to start out by saying sorry about the uh, crooked pages. Um, apparently I did not do a good job of scanning these. So you'll see down here like this where it's super crooked. You can't even see the book number. Um, yeah, that is totally my fault. Um, I really blew it on that one. Um, so just a heads up, this is on page 164, not page 64. Um, that again is because I did a terrible job of scanning. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, I don't think it cut off anything we actually needed, but that's just a heads up. So we're doing, um, um, inequalities in their graphs. Um, the objective here is to write, graph, and identify solutions of inequalities. All right. Um, so we'll just go ahead and jump in. Um, we're going to look at this problem one here. Um, it's just sort of a warm up for um, writing inequalities. So remember, inequalities are um, things like greater than, less than, and then also. Uh, less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. All right, so let's go ahead and look at um, problem one, um, letter A. We have all real numbers x less than or equal to negative seven. All right, so that one would be x, and then we have less than, which is that way, and then equal to, which is the line underneath it, and then negative seven is on the other side. All right, so um, just as a quick refresher, um, the I always look at it as the side that has one point is the less than side. The side with two points is the greater than side. All right, so just in case you needed that um, refresher, there it is for you. All right, and then the uh, second one, letter B, we have six less than a number K is greater than 13. All right, so that's going to be K minus six. And then it says greater than, so I know it's going to go this way. It's greater than 13, and that's all that example is. All right, so really simple to start off. Um, hopefully that's not an issue for us. Um, I won't have us do these got it problems because I think we understand the greater than and the less than stuff. All right, so we'll go ahead and move on into the crooked section of the book. All right, so um, we have here... Um, a solution of an inequality, all right, is any number that makes the inequality true. All right, so it makes the inequality true. That's the main thing that you need to remember from this. All right, um, so for example, as I say in the paragraph right afterwards, um, the solutions of the inequality x is less than 5 are all real numbers x that are less than 5. Okay, so one example would be like 1, if x equals 1, that makes this statement true. All right, so that would be, um, 1 would be a solution to that inequality. All right, so we'll just go ahead and jump straight into um, problem 2. This is where we get into the stuff that we're really going to be doing. All right, so um, for pro, let's look at A. Oh, just kidding. Um, yeah, I was right, sorry. Um, so we'll go ahead and look at A. Um, it asks, is the problem, or excuse me, is the number a solution of 2x plus 1 is greater than negative 3? So for A, we have um, negative 3, all right? And then the inequality that they give us is 2x plus 1 is greater than negative 3, all right? So what we need to do here is just go ahead and solve by plugging in. So we have 2 times negative 3 plus 1 is greater than negative 3. And now we just do order of operations, right? So we've got negative 6 after that multiplication plus 1 is greater than negative 3. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. And then we have negative 5 is greater than negative 3. All right, hopefully you realize negative 5 is not greater than 3. So this is not true. All right, so that means negative 3 is not a solution. All right. 
Okay, so then um, we'll also check B, which was negative one um, for the same inequality. All right, so we'll go ahead again, just plug in. We have two times negative one plus one is greater than negative three. All right. And then from there, we are, again, just doing order of operations. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, plus 1 is greater than negative 3. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and this one is true. Negative 1 is greater than negative 3. So negative 1, we know um, this is a solution. All right, so I want you to go ahead um, and try to do 2a. All right, so try that on your own. Just check those numbers um, just so that you have a chance to get a feel for it. All right, so once you've done that, um, we're going to go ahead and move into graphing inequalities. All right, so um, we're going to look at the page here. Um, the first thing that I want to look at is for greater than and less than. All right, for these two, we have um, when we graph on a number line. So we will graph these on a number line like this, by the way, guys. Um, so for these ones, we have an open circle when we graph. Um, and this tells us that it is not equal to. All right, or you can write it like that. Um, that's what that open circle tells us, all right? Um, contrarily, if we have a closed um, or filled in circle, all right, that means it is equal to, all right? So um, that's sort of the distinction between those two. All right, so you can see that in the examples over here. Um, this first one we have n is less than 1. You can see right here they have an open circle, especially if I zoom in. You can really see there that that's an open circle. Whereas for the second one with a is greater than or equal to 0, right there we have a closed circle. All right. Um, the other part of it then would be the direction of the arrow. Um, just remember if you, um, so less than is going to be to the left forgot to cross my t um, left, less than will be to the left of your point or your dot or your circle um, and then greater than will be to the right of your point okay um, so for example um, we have these ones so for n is less than 1, it's that first one up here. Um, because 1 is greater, or sorry, because we know that the numbers less than 1 um, make this statement true, we shade to the left, all right? But if we wrote it the other way, so 1 is greater than n, all right, um, we would still shade to the left. The reason for this is because n, or the variable, is on the less than side. Okay, so you would still shade to the left. All right, I hope that makes sense. Um, if not, it's okay, we'll talk about it. All right, so just this um, quick example for problem uh, three. Um, we have two is greater than or equal to A. All right, so what that tells me, the main thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the number and then I'm gonna graph my point at that number. So here it would be that one. And then I also see that it's equal to, so I'm going to go ahead and shade that in as well. All right. And then I'm just going to think about, um, I like to pick 0. So if I were to plug in 0 for A, um, 2 is greater than or equal to 0, all right, which means it's true. So for 0, I want to shade everything that goes that direction or have my arrow go to the left, all right? Um, and that's sort of just how I check it. Um, that's totally up to you if you check it that way or if you check it a different way. All right, and then um, just to practice, I want you guys to go ahead and do um, problem.
problem A, I think. So 3A on this one, um, and that should be good. Just do that one. All right, and then the final piece of it for today um, with problem four, this is going the other way. So writing an inequality from the graph instead of graphing from the written inequality. All right, so if we look at um, letter A, so we have that graph here. Um, I'll zoom in on it a little bit. Um, I am personally just seeing right off the bat that our point is at negative 1, so I'm just going to write down the negative 1. Okay, um, and then we've got our n. Okay, if you want to do it the other way, that's fine. Um, so if you want to put n on the other side and negative 1 on the other side, flip those, that's totally fine. It's up to you. All right, the next thing I see is that that's a closed circle, so I'm going to go ahead and put my equals part there. All right, and then lastly, um, I see that we're shaded to the right. So I'm going to think of a number within. Again, I'm going to do 0, which is right here. So I need to make it so that that's true, right, because our um, arrow goes through 0. So I know that I want it to be true. All right, so um, when I think of negative 1 and 0, which one's greater? The 0 is going to be greater. All right, so I'm going to give the 0 the... Um, greater than side with the two points there. All right, and that is really it. So um, for that graph, we would have negative one is less than or equal to n, or you could say n is greater than or equal to negative one. Those both work for A, all right? Um, so to go ahead and try this on your own, before you come back into class, um, we have Example 4a, again, um, we're doing letter A just all day today, I guess. So, um, yep, good luck with that one. Um, when you're finished, I will see you in class. And I can't wait.